Hey, how's it going, friends? Uh, so I've been working on so many projects these past two weeks that I kind of skipped the video because I just I just couldn't fit YouTube for myself in. Uh, I'm gonna pop up some thumbnails here from I, I think a, roughly I think eight projects. Uh, most of them this week, actually, and I'm kind of fitting this in a little late. Uh, I'm hoping to have this up like quickly after I do the tutorial. Um, but this tutorial is very simple and it's very subtle. Uh, it's subtle to most people. Uh, the fact that you've done it usually isn't that obvious. Uh, you start with a photo that already has a nice bokeh. Uh, some not something with full focus on the background something that's already blurred and then you just enhance that it's this this tutorial is just enhancing the bokeh that's already there and making bokeh more bokeh <laughs> and in photoshop due to the many recent updates in the past year especially uh the select subject option is what we're going to be using both to blur the background and uh, to fill it in and to actually select the subject. The photo that I'm using is a portrait and basically you have in focus and out of focus. It's a very simple version of this. Uh, the more you have going on in the photo and the farther you are away from your subject, uh, that things are going to get more in focus the more difficulty this method is. Uh, so you may have to create a, a mask and kind of brush in and brush out. But here we go, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with, uh, this is a fairly easy thing. Um, and this is what I usually do it to because there's not a whole lot of fuss. Uh, there's not, we got in focus and out of focus. Basically, there's a slight fade in her hair here. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you how I do it. And it's pretty straightforward. One of the easy things in Photoshop. I'm just going to make a copy. I'm going to turn off the background layer and go to select subject usually does a pretty good job and I'm gonna make a mask out of that and you see that's pretty decent we're missing some stuff over here uh, but we're not really gonna worry about this too much and you'll see why uh, since we're going from an already blurred background the artifacts that you usually see in like a lot of the Photoshop tutorials where you add bokeh is because it's not there to begin with. We're gonna take the blur and just make it more blurry. So it's a lot different than cutting out uh, a background that isn't blurry at all. But to avoid any artifacts, I'm going to select subject again. And I'm just gonna hit delete with the content aware fill. See what it comes up with, and then we're gonna touch up any mistakes. And you can see that it looks fairly bad. Uh, so I'm gonna take the lasso tool and just keep uh, refining it just a little bit at a time. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna leave this how it is. I might go over a few things here, but basically what we're doing is we want no edges here. So the more we do this, the further in this edge goes. So it's going to be masked, no pun intended, by the subject. So we really just want to pull it in so you don't see any halos once we blur it. And then you can do this with any of the blurs. I'm going to do Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift, and I'll show you what I do there. I pull the lower one all the way down so it's not doing anything. And then I'll pull this down so we have a gradual blur to the background. And then really, I just like how Tilt Shift blurs. I like the bokeh. So I'm going to pull that up. 
And that's that looks pretty good to me. So you can see we didn't do a whole lot to it. Right down here, it's still pretty much the original bokeh. And if we close this mask, disable layer mask, you can see the difference. It just, just a little bit better. Just a little bit. Almost as if we used a close-up 200 millimeter lens, which is what, what 200 millimeter usually does if you're close up. It, it just makes a milky, blurry background. And I do this when I just feel like I want a little bit more isolation. Sometimes things like this over here, like these orange balls, while they look cool in like a city scene, if there's a lot of them, it's kind of distracting because it's the only, there's only two of them. And then, you know, over here we have this. Uh, but it's usually not to mask problems. It's just <laughs> because I want it to be a little bit blurrier. And that's what it is, just a little bit blurrier. Thanks for checking this video out. Uh, I'm probably going to skip the next week because we're going to be on vacation at the beach since things opened up uh, just enough that we didn't have to cancel our yearly trip to the beach. I'm going to be doing that. Uh, probably going to be taking a lot of photos. Uh, my plan is to take the Canon EOS R and the 35mm and that's it. We'll see how that goes. I'm, I've already been thinking, oh, well, what if I bring my 70 to 200 for portraits or something? But I'm, I'm just going to keep it simple. So again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section of this video. Please subscribe and tell your friends. And remember, create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. I'll see you next time.